What's up guys, it's n 7 Euro here, talking about the update of the M4A1S. So first I'll be going through all this uh, new specifics of the gun and um, then I'll be going deeper into my personal analysis and opinions on the gun. So firstly, the biggest thing that they changed is the fire rate. It went from 667 to 600 runs per minute, which is exactly the same as the AKs, but it, it's kind of a, the nerf that people talk about here, but I'll get into it later. So then it was the spread, the spread of the spray. So it went from 0.45 to 0.50, which is 5% increase. It changed a bit, but not in a way that you would um, think at first. And then it was the thing that people think that changed, which was the armor penetration. That was not in the game. This is not updated, this is not imported into the game, so it had to go, but it didn't. It had to go fr from 70% to 62.5. I repeat, this is not in the game, this is not imported into the game, and that would have been just horrible, because decreasing the armor penetration is something that you don't want to deal with if you want to change a gun and still have people uh, using it kind of a... Now for a one fan base, and then the best one <laughs> I think that changed was the in-game price, which went down one hundred dollars. And this is just fantastic. There's countless times when I'm sure fifty dollars to three thousand two hundred. Uh, this has been quite annoying, uh, but see me complaining about having three thousand and fifty and not having three thousand one hundred in the future. But it's still a good thing that they decreased the price. And there's a thing that uh, was not updated, or it's still the same like it was before. So I'd say it would have been a good idea to put one more magazine in because of the low ammunition. But I'm not going to let that thing put, put it down because it was the way it was before. So, firstly, let's get into the fire rate. That was definitely a nerf and a buff at the same time for me. Um, in short ranges, it's definitely absolutely shit a gun. You, it's almost unusable on short ranges, like rushing and stuff like that. Because you have to have faster reaction time every single time you shoot a guy. And you have to hit to the head and stuff like that to get a fast kill. And it's bad because uh, before the update you could just go there and spam to the face or chest and get the kill because you had a uh, higher fire rate. But now that it's the same, so you have to be perfect every single time. So this is kind of nerf for short ranges. And then the mid ranges. The spread of the spray kind of affects here, but it's still not as bad as you would think. Because I personally use the gun like for bursts and like attack fires. Um, only short ranges where they like the automatic fire, but that that's. Uh, nerfed now, so I wouldn't use that anyways for it. So, the mid range, in my opinion, didn't change at all because I'm using the burst and the tap fire, and due to the fire rate is lower, it's easier to control the like the spray of the gun because it doesn't like go randomly everywhere when you start shooting. So then the long range, it is definitely a buff because no one sprays on long range. And if someone does, I don't even know. You keep doing your thing. But the long range was definitely a buff because um, I used the tap fire and like uh, two burst fires on long range. And that is so powerful. It feels like another gun. It feels like it's not even the gun that I'm shooting. But yeah, the tap firing is easier because the uh, fire rate is lower. Like, if you're sitting in Goose, and there's a guy in the pit, you will hit that guy's head easier, because you cannot tap as fast as you could before, because it's holding you down, not to spray all over the place. So, it's definitely a buff, because you can hit targets far away easier. So I think I wrapped up this whole M4A1S patch, or update, or buff, or nerf, whatever you like to call it. Um, pretty well. So if I left something untold or you feel like you want to share your own opinion on the comments, you go ahead. But in a nutshell, uh, 
Short range is definitely nerfed. It's almost unusable. Mid range stays the same. Long range definitely a buff. So it's kind of how you like to use the gun. Like, is it a buff or a nerf? So you can just go ahead in game and try it for yourself. I actually encourage you to go now after this video, take two death matches, try the M4A4, try the M4A1, try different um, methods of killing people and to see for yourself what's best for you. And um, and still the M4A4 like it was before is better for rushing and like pre-firing corners and shit because you don't have to like worry about eventually running out of bullets if you pre-fire every corner and door where you go to. So M4A4 still better for rushing and uh, pre-firing and like using it as a really spammy kind of weapon. And the M4A1 is still and kind of after the update even better for holding and like long range combat and like even challenging an AVP it's efficient. So you see for yourself which is better and I'll see you on the next video. 590 points, it's almost, let's say 600. 51 frags and 29 deaths. It's quite a good, quite a good um, score for, for the M4. Yeah!